guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is gonna be a uh, project pan, actually. I'm so excited. I've never done one before. And if you don't know what a project pan is, I'll tell you super, super quickly. Uh, basically, a project pan is when you have um, some makeup items, or it could be beauty products in general, I guess, and you try to really focus on them to use them up because either they're getting old, or you just haven't have had them laying around for a while, or you're honestly just wanting to use them up just because um, you want to try new things, whatever. So I'm doing one today, and the reason I'm doing mine, most of these products I have a little bit left in, and I just want to like go and finish up the home stretch. I'm going to have a few updates throughout uh, my time. I'm not having a time limit, sometimes project panners do, like the 4th of July, um, beginning of fall, whatever. I'm just going to do generally whenever, gen generally whenever I feel like I can hit up another update, and then whenever I'm done I'll just film my finale or whenever I feel like I just need to be done. So yeah, we're gonna jump on into it, and I'm pumped! Woohoo! So I'm gonna kinda do random things. First thing I see, I'm gonna try to finish up these Rimmel eyeliners. They're very short already, so this being my first project pan, I really want to kinda go easy on myself. Um, so yeah, I have the one in black, which is very tiny. And then as well as the one in nude, which I have a little bit more of nude, so they're obviously kind of a difference. I tried to use a lot of these products today on my face also, just like start up the project pan process. So yeah, I love these eyeliners. I'm gonna repurchase them, but I feel like since they're so stubby and stuff, I should just finish them up and then get new ones. Moving on, this is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. And I love this thing, but it's almost to the end, and I figured why not finish it up, get a new one. Um, obviously, as you can tell, it's quite down there. I might mark my items with like the cap. If you've seen Project Pan videos, you know what I'm talking about, so I can see my progress, but I might not. It depends. I don't really care too much about finishing everything by a certain amount of time. I'm very open. Whatever works. This is really good, though, um, but I feel like... I haven't been getting the best exfoliation the more I go down. I don't know, maybe I'm just like hitting a random smooth spot or something, but I don't feel as like intense exfoliation on my face anymore. Next thing I want to use up is the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Lightweight Shine Control Mousse Foundation. Um, I like this a lot. I'm wearing it today, right now, as I'm speaking. Um, it looks pretty good. I put on moisturizer first because I have very dry skin, so I don't want it to be like, you know, like very cakey on my skin. Uh, I literally have a few uses left. I've like tried to squeeze it all the way down. It's a little bit of a process. I might cut the tube in half and just like scoop out with my finger because it's getting really hard. Like I have to like push all the product down and then like bend it. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to like squirt out, but... Yeah, I already have a new one waiting because I thought I was going to run out of this so long ago, but it keeps coming out with more product. It's insane. It's so highly concentrated that like you really don't need a lot at all. Another face product that I really want to use up is the Porefessional by Benefit. And oh, same type of deal with this one. Like, if I, I have so much air in it, but like just the very top, some keeps coming out. And I've had this for oh, maybe almost, almost three years. Yeah, no, almost two years. Okay, it's not that bad. And I just, I want to use it up because why not? It's not my favorite anymore. I like using a green primer because I have red skin, like red undertones or whatever it's called. I don't know. I want to use up this concealer and it's by Bella Pierre Cosmetics. I've just had it since like October or November. So I'm like very done. I want to try a new concealer out and, um, I've been using this, like I said, for so long. It's kind of hard to tell, but I am like pretty deep in there, if you can see. Um, so I don't know. I saw some on the sides that I like try to work through. This stuff just does not want to go away. <sighs> it's insane. It like just it literally won't go away. So I don't know how much longer this is gonna be. I kind of want to like stick a toothpick and just like see how far I'm into it. I feel like I should be hitting pan any day now because there is like just some regular clear plastic in this packaging. So 
I feel like I should be hitting pan any day. I wasn't planning on throwing this into the project, but why not? I only have the smallest amount of Benefits Boing. So I want to use this up too. Why not? It might have gone bad because I haven't touched it in a while. Like, when I, once I got to this point, I bought a new concealer and I just... I never finished this, but this is an amazing concealer, so might as well do this. I like this one a lot better than this one, so I'm going to try to use these two up. Now for eye primers, I have two that I really want to use up. I didn't I didn't think I really was going to put these in here, but I took out the stoppers this morning, and oh my god, you guys, I have so much more product in both of these. This is the little mini size of the Primer Potion by Urban Decay, and this is ELF's um, eyelid primer. So you take it out and it is just covered. I don't know if you guys can really tell. It's covered in product. Like completely. Oh my god. It's insane. So I want to use this up. It was coming out kind of dry so I, I wasn't expecting this much product to be in there. So it's insane. Might not really finish these up but as long as I get a little bit more head on them that's fine. I'm not expecting anything crazy, like I said. Same with this one. This one was coming out very dry, and it's covered in product. It's crazy, so if you have anything with a stopper, definitely work and, like, just take it out. If you want, I could do a video on how I take it out. Um, it's so easy. It really, it did not take that long at all. Like, maybe one minute. That was it. Lastly, I want to finish up the Too Faced. Well, this is kind of, like two things I want to finish up, but they're both eyebrow related. I want to finish up the Too Faced Brow Envy palette. I love this, but it's an old packaging. It's kind of bulky. It's beautiful. It's really, really, really pretty. I love it, but I just, I want to try, um, I want to, like, get the new one. I don't know why, but I'm just, I'm excited for a new phase of my eyebrow life. I might get this one again. I really, really like it, so I'm feeling like I will, but even if I don't, even if I try something else, I just, I feel like, I just, I need to finish it off. So, I want to finish off the two powders on the bottom. I just recently hit pan, so that's why I thought it was appropriate to throw these in. I still have a lot of work to do around the edges, except, especially for the brunette shade. I have a lot, a lot more that I have to work through than in the blonde shade. So, we'll see. I like the highlighter, but I don't use it often. And the setting wax, I've never used once. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll try it one time, but honestly, it just doesn't appeal to me. I don't really set my eyebrows ever, so, yeah. Okay, lastly, I want to finish up this Revlon Brow Fantasy Dark Blonde Eyebrow Pencil. And I use this for the beginning of my eyebrows for shaping them, and this just, it keeps on going and going. I had to, like, sharpen it really harshly with, like... A sharpener that doesn't fit so I could really get it out because it won't fit into a regular eyeliner sharpener anymore which is kind of strange I don't know um, so yeah I want to use this up I don't love the color that it is even using it in the beginning of my eyebrows they look a little orangey sometimes so I think I want to get this but maybe one shade darker this and the blonde color in this palette really do kind of go well together and the blonde really cancels out the orange that I see sometimes. These are all my products, you guys, that I want to use up. Project, I'm just going to call it a Project 10 Pan, because it's I have 11 products and it's easier. So, this is my Project 10 Pan. I will come with an update maybe in like a month or so. I really hope I have some great progress to show you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, comment, thumbs up, and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. That was messed up and it's creepy and it freaked me out. Uh...